Okay, we're live. Hi, I'm Jolene, and this is the Personal Camera Crew. So why would someone want to learn how to use a camera stick? So I'm going to do kind of an overview of why you'd want to do that. I'm going to look at the screen here. Um, <clears throat> so you would want this to enhance your life. By the way, go ahead and press mute. I can hear some background noise, so press mute. It's on the top of your screen. There you go. Great. So why do you want to use this tool to enhance your life personally, professionally, and how to use it and how to get specific shots? So I like to take a lot of pictures and I like to share my experiences with people. Um, it could be that I'm Japanese, don't know. So what I do, just quickly, is I turn on my camera and I'm going to put the timer button on, press two seconds. Okay, and here we go. Okay, and I got a shot. So that's as fast and easy as it can be, and you can do that with your cell phone too. Um, <clears throat> now, in terms of personally, why would you want this? Well, if you have family, I see a lot of moms and dads, and they're never in the picture. It's all their pictures and their spouse, and they're never in it. Well, with this, you can get everybody in the picture. So, um, it includes, it, it looks like you have a full family. Um, you can get pictures with your cats, your dogs, your relatives. And with social media, we want to know personally how you're doing, you know, how's the whole family, how are your friends, that sort of thing. Um, and when you are, it's easier to get pictures because if you're at a restaurant, you're at a mall, you want to capture the moment, it's hard to like, excuse me, excuse me, are you busy, their hands are full, or maybe it's a waiter and their hands are greasy. You don't have to be dependent on other people. You can just take your own picture. Bam, and you got it. Now, professionally, there are a lot of ways uh, you can use this. And as a speaker or as an entrepreneur, you want to be top of mind, so you want to get a lot of pictures out there. And um, <clears throat> let's say you're networking. When you're networking, you meet some great people, um, and you could take pictures of them. Let's say you met Sarah, and Sarah seems like a great connection. You had some great rapport, but you met probably like 20 people, and you really want to remember Sarah. So you're chatting with Sarah, and then you can just go like this. Maybe take like 10 seconds or so, and um, while this is happening, maybe somebody else is talking. You just pull this up, and then you just go, smile. Yay. So it's pretty painless, and what's going to happen is that people will go, oh my gosh, what is that? That is so fun. What is that contraption? So you may have a crowd of people, and I'm not joking, who will come over to talk to you because you've got something cool. Sarah thinks, oh, that's neat. That person's like kind of cutting edge. You know, they, they know some technology. That's kind of neat. And when you go back to your office, you are sharing that, you're emailing or sharing that picture with Sarah. Sarah's going to remember you and you're going to be more top of mind. So there's networking is a great, great, um, this is great for networking and it's a total icebreaker. When I wear my flash badge name tag in this, um, it's Peacock Central and people are looking. Okay, another thing, when you're using this camera stick to take pictures of people, you're adding value to the event. So I'm involved with a number of different groups, and NSA, National Speakers Association, is one of them, and I take lots of pictures, and I'm able to share them. Not everybody takes pictures, so I'm sharing them on Facebook and on Flickr and a number of places, so people are thankful because you know, they forgot what that person's name was, and now they can I'd say, oh, that person, who is that? So I'm giving them, um, you know, great content for them since they didn't take their own pictures. Okay, now in terms of using this camera stick, <clears throat> this is a universal mount. Universal mount. So cameras have this here and you just stick this in and twist it on and then there's a little elbow and then you tilt it. Usually I'm using this angle like this and then what you do is you just hold this and pull out on the 
on the extension. When I'm taking pictures, I typically take it like this, maybe eight inches or so above my head, so I don't get so much double chin, triple chin action. So that's most favorable to a lot of us. Um, <clears throat> but I also get creative and take other angles that people can't do. Um, so that's kind of the basics. And then there's a timer function. All cameras have timer functions. The cell phone. Same thing. Oh, so here, it's also, this is just a cell phone adapter, just spins on. And this is adjustable for different size phones. Like if somebody had some old school phone, um, you could still put it on here. So I just take this, pop it in squeeze it down. These are keep always tight. This one, I'll, I'll keep it tight but sometimes I'll just push it down just to make sure. And because our phones these days cost $600 or so, I always have the phone upward so it's never like face down just because it's scary. I have insurance but and then I just pull this down. And another thing that that I just discovered <laughs> actually maybe a month ago is so when you pull this out you snap it out but when you have this this cell phone holder you can push it down with your palm and then your hand is not in risk of getting pinched sometime that may happen but now it's not going to happen at all so this is with my cell phone <clears throat> I have an S3 it's a Galaxy it's an Android phone and with Androids, it's built in for the timer. So I'm able to take some pictures of the timer pretty quick. So I'm going to just do two seconds. And boom! Okay. So it's, it's pretty simple. And I make it look kind of simple. You want to practice uh, with it. On the... Um, actually, go to, on the chat window... You might want to open up these three websites, personalcamerecrew.com, and that's where some of the tools I'm using are. Well, the tools are there. And then on Facebook, um, Personal Camera Crew, there's a lot of examples I post quite often of different ways to use your camera stick, and then uh, of the YouTube channel. So right now, I was going to share... Um, Actually, I don't remember what I was going to share, unfortunately. But, oh, I know. Yes. How do you know uh, that you're getting yourself in the photo? How do you know that you're getting yourself in the photo? Well, that's a great question. So with this camera, it has a special window. But for a normal camera, a camera has a wider angle. And if you can see, if you can see this, like kind of straight on, then it can see you. Um, and using using your full extension of your arm, this is quite a wide screen, so you can see a lot. Now, when you're doing your cell phone, what I suggest, because the cell phone has less of a wide angle, I suggest using front facing. You probably cannot see this, but so I'm going to put it on front facing. The bummer of that is then there's no flash, but as you're practicing, that's fine. So front facing goes here. <clears throat> Push this down. So when I'm doing this and I can put the timer on, I can actually see myself. So I can see that I'm directly in the shot. Yay! Okay, just took a shot. So while you're practicing, use front facing. Um, you can get pretty easily two, three people in the shot. When you're trying to get like five people or six people, then you have to use some practice. You know, I think taking um, four minutes a day to take some pictures, you know, for several days will, will help. 
so that's um, front facing. Okay, we are going to go to, um, I'm going to take you to a website for a second to show you personal camera crew. Oops. To show you apps to download for your cell phone. Okay, products. How to? There we go. Okay, let me bring this over in a second. Okay, YouTube, add to list. Okay. Ooh. Mmm, that's not what I wanted. Okay, I know what I'll do. I'll do a screen share. There you go. So for the iPhone, and let's see what you see. There we go. Yep. Do you see that there? So that's the, when you're looking for an app, if you have an iPhone, then we need to scroll down. Oops. Hang on a second. The iPhone has so many choices. There's Appy Mac, Top Camera, etc. For Android, I like Camera Magic. Um, when you look for an app, look Camera Timer and Burst Function. And you can get a lot of cool apps that way. Okay, we're going to go back to non-screen share. And I'll show you what a burst function is. This is a total um, icebreaker in entertainment. Let's say you're at, a, you're at a holiday party or some networking thing and you're feeling fun. Um, or maybe you're with kids and they're always running around so you want to get a couple of shots. So I'm going to open up Camera Magic. Okay, so here we go. Party over here. Yay! Party over there. Yay! And different people are kind of photobombing with you, behind you. And so you can do this boom, 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 boom. And there's a lot of energy and it's really fun. And you're likely to get a, like, a, you know, a couple shots that are good. So that's... Um, something that I think is awesome to do. Okay, now what I'd like to do is share with you some pictures that you can get and then how do you get the shots. So we're going to go to screen share, PDF. Okay, so for example, okay, so this is kind of my standard shot. Um, where I have it pretty high up just because there's two of us I put the camera stick kind of high in the air just because we're just getting like close-up shots okay the next one refresh Okay, here we go. Go back to PDF. There we go. So if I, I do a lot of reporting, so I'm doing this right in front of me because I'm doing a close-up. Because I wanted to show you where my hand is and where my arm is. And you can, you really never see it. Okay, for the next one. Okay, let's enlarge this. All right, so do you see what's going on here? We have in the right corner, that's what the picture looks like. That's a final product. And then you see me taking a picture with a lady with my camera stick out. And notice the angle. It's kind of vertical just because it's a close-up shot. Okay, here's the shot that a lot of entertainers and professional speakers want. This shows credibility for that you actually have an audience. No, seriously, I'm a speaker. Seriously, I have an audience. Well, here's, here's an audience. Jeff is a magician. He does a great job of getting that shot, and I'll show you what that looks like and how you get that shot. 
and this is a great one. Um, those of you who are speakers uh, for your Facebook page. <clears throat> so you're the audience here, and I'm going back here. You can get it of your head, back of your head, that's kind of cool, but it's better to look this way. And I would suggest towards the end of your program, or it could be like a kind of a break where you're doing a drawing or something where it's kind of loose. Um, you get your, it should take you maybe 30 seconds, 15 seconds to get this ready and then take a picture. And what's great about this is you could say, okay, everybody smile. And they've got energy going, they look good, they're feeling good. And if you do this at, at the end of your program, you know, you want people to end on a, on a high note. And then they'll say, hey, where do we get this picture at? And that's where you're going to drive them to your Facebook page or to your website or to Flickr or one of your channels. So what I would do is keep this behind me on the table and make sure it's on picture, kind of have it a little bit ready. And then boom, boom, boom. Say, hey, guys, let's get a picture. You guys are a great audience. And... You know, I want to capture this moment or whatever. Say cheese. There you go. And what this does for you, drives people to the website, but also you can see who are those people in the front row who you really wanted to connect with, and maybe you can see their name tag too. So I do quite a few pictures of the audience because it can aid my memory of who I want to contact and what was their name again. So that's that shot. Let's go to the next photo. So I am not super tall. This is in Seattle. It's a gingerbread uh, house. Now these people are not super tall either. <laughs> but when there is an occasion where you cannot see, here let's do this. When there's an occasion where you can't see, your camera can see for you. So there's been many occasions where I'm, you know, I'm in New York and people are hanging out and doing some rap thing or they're, they're gathering around an entertainer. I have no idea what they're doing, but I want to know. So I will just, boom, take a quick picture, take some video, bring it down and, hey, what did my messenger find for me? And you can get a lot closer to the action when you physically couldn't, um, you can get right in, right in people's face if you want, and you get really cool footage that way. I've also looked over um, cemetery walls. You know what's on the other side of that wall? Well, I'll just take a peek. Um, so this, these are great eyes for you. In terms of functionality, I think I'll just go over to that too in terms of the extra pair of eyes. Um, it's Christmas time and maybe you're getting out some ornaments or doing some cleaning. Well, instead of getting out the stepladder, you can just, hey, you know, are those Christmas lights there? Because normally you'd have to get a step stool and a flashlight to look at something. Well, there's a flash on here and you don't need to get out your step stool yet. So if it's not there, then you don't need to bother. Um, if you're firing up your fireplace, then, you know, is, is the flue open? We don't want the smoke to come down here. Um, and this, this happened where I was actually kind of getting dirty, going, wow, I feel like Cinderella. I'm totally getting dirty down here. And all I needed to do was to use this. And let me show you a screen share, I think, of that. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Pause for a moment. Personal camera crew. Because the functionality piece has helped me so many times. Okay, here we go. Sorry for the pause. Okay, here we go and go to screen share. Screen share, here we go. And you cannot see it very well. Well, here's my hair, and I didn't, 
I just kind of had to bend down and then stick the camera shooting upward and you can see if it's open or not. Another thing I want to share with you with the holidays and if you have family and kids or, or parties look at what a cool shot that is. So in order to get that shot all you do you can just stand straight up and then just put this put the timer on make sure nobody's wearing skirts boom and then just take a picture upwards and it's like a it's a really kind of fun shot okay there was another time where I I had a problem with my sink and uh, the person who normally would help me was not home and so I didn't know what to do and uh, so what I did was behind my sink I couldn't even see in there um, so a flashlight didn't really help because I couldn't maneuver behind the sink to see what's wrong but what I could do I could take a picture with this and it lit it up and with my cell phone my cell phone has a light so I actually took a video um, with a light on it to see what was going on then I was able to look at it and then go to YouTube to figure out what the problem was but I can also Dropbox or email somebody the the video file to say hey what does this mean you know how, how do you help here so with with FaceTime and Tango and video conferencing this is super handy because it's tiny it can get into places that you can't okay let's go back to a couple more of these um, shots and how to get them okay back to the holiday action you can make a studio anywhere um, that so let's say you're making some you know obviously you're cooking you could have I, I commonly have if I use a recipe I don't use recipes very much but I, I should probably and put it right up in the kitchen and here is an example this here this is the little mini tripod that you just saw and I just attached it to this lamp so you can you can really make a studio anywhere so now I could film a video from this angle and that angle if I wanted to so this this just attaches it's a velcro strap like this and the other day I was filming the uh, turkey the different turkey stuffing process that was new to me this particular style and I took this little pina colada bottle and put this on the can we have high counters and I was able to film that was the tripod so it's um pretty cool to be able to shoot anywhere show you a couple more examples boom okay these are pictures of cats so this is a refrigerator and you I mean let's say you're doing a cooking show and you needed something on that side of the room well you could start filming from from that side candle make a tripod of the candle you could do a little um, interview with people and wine bottles there are certainly a lot of wine bottles around during the holidays so you can make your tripod out of that now why do I show you this picture well you can if you see something cool you can get the picture yourself so in all these pictures you never see my arm holding something it looks like somebody else took the picture right so how do you get celebrity shots I've been um, able to get quite a few celebrity shots this is Sir Mix-a-Lot with uh, Bossy's on Broadway and I like big butts that sort of thing and because I'm able to take the picture so quickly I always get the shot so for example 
Okay, so I was at a conference, and after the speaker got off the stage, it was Ben Vereen. And I thought, oh, that'd be kind of cool to get a picture. Well, he and his people are being escorted out, right? And they're going really fast so they can avoid having to sign, and, and they need to get to their next thing. Well, I just said, I, I walked. Here I am walking, getting my camera out, turning it on. Boom, boom. And I was in the proximity. So then I'm just walking with him, his people around him, and I'm like, smile. And then I get the shot. Um, Timothy Ferris, who's I'm a big fan of, he's always at South by Southwest. And um, everybody's crowded around him to get pictures and everything. Well, I can just lean in. There's people around, but I can kind of lean in and get him in the picture with me. And then recently there's this guy, Judah. Friedlander and he's pretty funny and uh, he's on third third 30 rock and there was a crowd at a table waiting to sign you know get him his signature autograph etc well he I'm not gonna say jumped over the table to come chat with me but kind of because he was like oh my gosh what is that oh that's so cool and so he came over to talk to me because I had this and when you make it when you just boom, psh, psh, they're excited about this, and then you just took a picture that uh, it's so fast, you don't have to ask for permission or anything. So, um, great celebrity tool. Pictures, there we go, so mix a lot. Okay, this is of, oops. The vase, you know, to get your tripod. So this is kind of like a, a standard picture where you can get a big group of people. And so look at how many people I'm able to get in the picture. And that's a great icebreaker, conversation starter. And um, that's me putting my camera stick pretty high in the air. So that's a shot. Ooh, can you see me? There you go. That's a shot like this. So I have my arm length and then, you know, 30 inches out, and I can get quite a few people. I, mean, I probably could have got like 15 people in the shot. Great for networking. Out of the, I don't know, 20,000 people at South by, a lot of people have seen me. Um, mostly, well, flash badge, but also the camera stick too. Okay, so here uh, I'm just showing you the angle when you're doing a two shot. And this they're trying out. How how do they do it? And do you see how fun it is? It's it's new and novel and they had such a fun time just playing. We spent probably five minutes taking some pictures and goofing around. It's a great icebreaker. Here this is in my car, and what it is, is I have actually a clamp. A clamp is holding my, um, my cell phone. So this is great for navigation, and or if you want to listen to a TED video or something like that, or it's just so you don't have to take your eyes off the road very much. And I'll show you that in a second. Let me show you the next picture. And it just depends on your car. Um, this is, you know, once again, your cell phone hanging on the rear view mirror. So that might be handy. It just depends on your car. So this is the device that was used in the car. Also, you could put it on this too. This is a clamp, and it's really sturdy. The mini tripod is not very sturdy. So this guy, it's just like a normal tripod except for its straps, so that's pretty cool. Um, but it's plastic. This guy is a heavy-duty um, heavy duty one. You can put it on your car window. You can do all sorts of things. I use this when I'm going to keep this there for a while. 
so like my car it's going to stay in there for a while or if I always do a video shoot somewhere and I want something sturdy this can clamp on into uh, to poles and um, onto wood and different places and you can maneuver this all around so that's pretty cool okay let me switch back I think we have one more picture Okay, um, this is not ex that exciting of a picture, but when, let's say you're an event planner and you wanted to show what's going on, you can get a pretty big overview by raising your camera up high and you can kind of get an aerial type of view. So these are pretty helpful all the time. Um, so I use that one a lot. Okay. And let's say, let's say for an event planner, I'm going to hold this up really high. You getting that aerial view can see, can share, you can share with your team. Let's say you're the planner on site, and your staff is back at home in Seattle. You could send a picture, and it gives just a better feel for the area. Another thing is I use video a lot. Being able to video the whole place. And what I might do is say, over here, that's the coat set up, and we want to make sure that this thing is roped off. Over here, that's where we want um, the floral setup to be, and make sure that that cord isn't showing. So you can do a lot of these instructions that people can just see it, can save you a lot of time and hassle. So videos are pretty awesome for that. Um, I want to share with you a some of my favorite types of shots um, so we have perspective shots so the ones that are really high up I don't do ones from down below that often um, and then I do a lot of shots where it's walking driving rollerblading skiing so the reason you'd want these type of shots is because it's interesting and when you're trying to be top of mind and show your personality and show your experiences people don't have unless they have a GoPro um, they don't have these kinds of shots so these are gonna stand out um, I, I think that my my cat let's look here my cat video got quite a few views By the way, here I just have my camera stick out in front of me and I get this cool shot. So how fun would that be, right? Okay, let's show you some other examples. Playlist. Okay, not playing. Okay, so that is. Okay, so that's not playing, so I'm going to grab another one. Rollerblading, okay. Oh, riding in the cars. Play. Play. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess that is not going to work for me right now. So let's go back. Sorry about that. Well, I was going to show you ones where essentially you're just maybe you're a passenger I um, you can get videos of you kinda cruising along when I'm rollerblading this one was me chasing like a cat that's riding on a bike and <laughs> interviewing the the biker who has the cat on their shoulder and it's just the ability to, pe to be able to capture all of life's fun quickly and to share it right now I think is the best thing and when I don't have my personal camera crew with me, I just feel like, oh, 
it's not as good because I'm not able to share as much. So I think I'm going to see what else I want to share and otherwise we'll be done in a second. Okay, I, I guess another thing, so I do a lot of interviews and we'll pretend that this, oof, this is my interview. This is how I do the interview. So this right here is right out. I guess I guess maybe you have to just try it, but here I'm able to just swing my arm around and it's a smooth shot and you never see my arm. So it's believable and it looks like I can afford a camera person to be around me all the time. And other people who do this, I've heard like, oh yeah, it keeps it steadier. And some people just like to have it as a tripod because they feel it steadier. Ooh, another thing I wanted to mention before we close. I use both of these. I used to use, focus, I used to use my camera all the time. Um, and they're both Wi-Fi. I can post from both of them. But nowadays, because my Samsung S3 has video and it has a light, a light with it, I'm doing tons of videos that I use this almost all the time and it's just highly shareable. Um, if I'm going to be in a vehicle, if um, I'm flying, driving, or rolling, or doing some action shot, well then I'll want to have my camera attached to my camera stick so it's secure. Ooh, there's a cool boating one. Um, example. So, and if I want uh, a higher resolution, uh, then I'm going to use this one. If I want to do some cool tricks that this camera does, also. Um, and, oh, um, it's just a wider angle. Wider angle, so that's when I use this. Uh, so if I do want to take pictures over here, I can also Wi-Fi them. I'll just, the Wi-Fi is in here, so I can transfer them um, to my cell phone pretty fast. So um, I encourage you to um, to like Personal Camera Crew on Facebook because there's a ton of ideas there. At personalcamerecrew.com, I haven't posted uh, there as often just because Facebook is so much easier. But there's a lot of ideas and um, there's a guy, Manly, who goes climbing with and gets these killer shots of the mountain that he's, or the cliff he's climbing. So uh, I hope that helps you. So thank you for tuning in. And it's personalcameracrew.com. Great gift.